hey guys and welcome back to my channel this is your girl rashi so guys look at my jacket like do y'all like it it's from pakistan my friend's mom made it for me <laughs> i don't mean to brag but i love it so today i'm going to tell you all a story i mean this was very recent um it was a very unfortunate event and i'm happy that today i'm here to tell my story you know what i mean so last year i was living early last year i was living in beijing i was a student and living on dorm i wasn't fortunate enough like some people to have a bathroom in my room so i had to use the communal bathroom right so how they set up the bathrooms is like you have one western toilet and then you have four chinese toilets right and i mean over time you get used to using the chinese toilet but i mean like i grew up using western toilets so that's gonna be like my thing i'm not into squatting to do my, my stuff you know what i mean it gives you strong legs but i'm not about that life so this was one saturday evening me and my friend decided that we wanted to eat out like we didn't want to order mcdonald's or we don't didn't want canteen food we just wanted to go somewhere have a nice meal laugh talk and you know just be outside so <laughs> uh, unfortunately i was the one who chose the restaurant you know my friend be indecisive i'm like all right let's go to this place i always pass it i always want to try it so let's go here so we ended up going to the restaurant right my friend likes fish so um the person got fish right fried fish very i mean it was well fried and i got lamb and beef kebabs right i had 10 kebabs right we ordered rice and beer and we had a good time we ate like the food was delicious you know and i was saying you know this can be like my new favorite restaurant like the food is so good the, the kebabs were so delicious you know what i mean so we left there i went to my dorm room feeling good my belly full and all of that i just want to watch a movie i'm at my bed Reach home now, not even get to take out my clothes good. My belly start go grr, 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 grr. I said, what is this? Start feeling nauseous. I said, no girl, what is this? So, I said, all right, drink some hot water. That's the Chinese style. I feel sick, drink some hot water. Drink the water. My belly still go grr, 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 grr. It's a pain, I feel nauseous. I said, Jesus, what is, what is? No man, this not right. I start chewing a bubble gum. Nothing. Don't the killers. I just realized that one minute me have to go so grrr. Girl, me have to take up the towel paper and the soap and shut in the bathroom. Listen, I must say, Diary, take me, you girl, you friend, my youth. I must say, Diary, take me. <laughs> go in the bathroom now. Push my western toilet door. It lock. I said, Oh, this could have so bright. At that time, when me need to use my toilet, you in my toilet, oh, you so bright. So, anyways, I'm sorry, girl. Can't wait. Shut in the, the Chinese toilet. Go in at the Chinese toilet now, alright. Do my thing. Come out, wash my hand. Five minutes later, right back in the bathroom. And this time, yeah, the person had left, so I get to use the Western toilet. This time, I was happy. You know what I'm saying? And this diarrhea thing continued for like the whole, almost the whole night. So I started to Google my symptoms. I mean, like some things come up, and like one mind just say, choose food poisoning. You know, like. I me can't tell myself so I got dead like I'm too young. I say God no 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 I got me got choose food poisoning because of food poison. It cannot be nothing else. Anything else. It can't be anything else. I go so boom I say alright. Alright. It's look like me have to go to the doctor tomorrow. You know my roommate say, you know girl, 
safest thing of go a doctor, you know, stop for like Google because we have seen multiple things. You have choose food poisoning, me choose something else to go a doctor. So I'm going to now send my Chinese friend a message and she say, all right, girl, no problem. I can follow you to the hospital tomorrow. All right. I needed to ask a Chinese to follow me to the, 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 the clinic or the hospital because you know it's easier for the doctors to talk to a chinese person because they speak chinese than to talk to me in english and i'm saying they can misinterpret me or i'm translating this you're translating this you understand me not me no one trust google with my health you get me so i mean it's a bit uncomfortable having somebody in your medical history like that and the doctor asking a question but i mean it's life like you being here, you just have to be bored. Like you can't be shy. You have to just do the damn thing. You see me? So I'm going to the doctor now. I tell the lady, say, yes, I feel nauseous. Yes, I have in diarrhea. Yes, this. The lady go ask me her first question. Was like, when last me have intercourse? And I'm like, lady, man, no, I'm me, no. Say me, don't pregnant. Like, if me pregnant here in China right now, it must be an act of God. It must be a miracle, hallelujah. So she said, she said, oh, 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 okay. So she, I know she write down. So then finally she asked me, you know, some other questions. She tells me to lay on the bed, she do a test, do the test now. And she you knows she touched up my belly and I said, tongue, 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 tongue. That means pain. And she's like, all right, I need to do a urine test and a blood test. So, all right, girl, do the urine test, blood test. Results come back in less than five minutes. Go back to the doctor now, and she was like, Ah, not pregnant. I'm like, Girl, me know me not pregnant. So, right, this year, make me waste my money, but me no mind. We'll get to the, the details. So, she's like, Um, food poisoning. I'm like, Yes, yes, Google was right. Hey, Google was right for the first time. Google, right. Because enough time you Google your symptoms and Google tell us on things me I tell about. This time, Google was right. So, she tell me that I only could eat bread, banana, water and broth. Like some plain stuff. So, I was like, cool, fine, no problem. I don't have a problem with that. And she gave me the medication. She gave me a prescription. I filled it. And, I mean, the, the visit and everything came up to like 30 US dollars. It wasn't much money. After about seven to eight days, like I was back to normal, I was feeling okay, right? But um one good thing that came out of the situation, I mean no mega feel so vain, but girl, you girl, I must say my stomach. <coughs> my belly dead in a my back. Like my belly and my back was like this. Flat. I say yeah girl. Like you go through the pain but your belly flat, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but guys I'm saying this to say that like in life bad things will happen to you but you have to look for the good in every situation and I got two positives from it one I'm alive to tell my story and two like my belly did reach in my belly my belly did full did flat my belly did flat like I did all free for the whole heap of eating after that because I have some one that belly has tear you understand so guys let me know in the comments down below like have you guys ever um gotten food poisoning in your country or i mean while you we were traveling i mean like me get diarrhea upon the plane when me i come to china for the first time you know something you know you come like diarrhea love me my friend never get no food poisoning you know because my friend eat fish me go choose the kebab so more than likely the man got the child it never wash him and and it made me sick you know it's unfortunate but that but it's all right that now stop me from go to eat a random restaurant and I have my experiences and live my life and so should you <laughs> don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel